Hey, it's Steve from the garden, and I'm coming to you with a little project I've been doing today. It's a uh, Johnson Sioux style bioreactor. Um, I did one of these once before, where I did a, more of the traditional method, where you use uh, like a wire mesh with uh, landscape fabric on the inside and put it on top of a pallet. But today, uh, doing something a little bit different and it, uh, I set up a new compost bin uh, to do this. So it's gonna be rectangular instead of round. Um, so let's see where we're at with this. Uh, today is December 23rd. It's kind of windy and for this time of year for us, it's pretty warm. It's actually about 50 degrees. And uh, I started doing this bioreactor yesterday. You can kind of see it there. Uh, the beginnings of it behind me. Um, let me flip this around. This is the setup I'm doing. Um, you can see I got pallets. And I put landscape fabric in them. And I just have it sitting up against the back of this cyclone fence here. And uh, on the bottom of this, what I end up doing is I put a bunch of corn stalks I had left over. On the very bottom, covered that with some uh, partially or mostly finished uh, compost from this pile, along with uh, various kitchen scraps and that. Piled uh, horse manure on top, and the load I did earlier got about halfway, and uh, I actually did this part yesterday. And you can see I got a compost thermometer in there. And this focuses, it's right about 100 degrees now. And for the spacing of the, the pipes and all that, I didn't measure it, I just eyeballed everything. And like these ones are like three inch pipes and this is a six inch pipe. Now you notice I really don't have holes in these, but these pipes really only sit in there for a couple days, so I don't see a real need to put a bunch of holes in these when they're not going to sit in there that long. Now the one pipe actually does have some holes in it, but that's because I use that as like a vertical planter during the summertime. So what I'm going to do is I got another load of uh, horse manure and I'm going to dump that into here and get this all topped off and I'll put the uh, compost thermometer back in. Alright, so this process will take uh, about a, a year or so for all uh, the fungi to break everything down. Uh, this is stall clean out, so it contains a lot of the pine shavings that they use for the bedding and soaks up all the urine. Um, but, you know, it'll be all ready to go by uh, spring 2022 or maybe even a little sooner. I mean, the, the material is pretty fine already. So it's not like there's a bunch of uh, large pieces that I need to break or have the fungi break down. Uh, I also did is I put uh, like a five gallon bucket worth of that partially finished compost on the top of this middle layer here. And that's to help inoculate the pile with bacteria that's already doing the composting. Kind of give it a, a bit of a kickstart. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and finish putting the rest of the horse manure in, get this topped off, and then uh, put the thermometer back in, and we'll see where it's at in a couple days. Okay, I got the rest of the horse manure in. It's not quite to the top, but it'll be close enough. Um, this stuff will break down fairly quick uh, and drop in level. So if we get a reasonably warm day in, say, February, I will uh, make another run and top it off one more time. And then at that point, I'll leave it sit. I put the thermometer back in. And that is already getting up over 100 degrees. Even though it's only been in there for couple minutes. Okay, over by the bioreactor now. Uh, I haven't removed the pipes just yet. Uh, 
I want to check it. I did check on it yesterday just to see what the temperature had reached, even though it was about 10 degrees outside at the time. Uh, the bioreactor reached like 140 degrees, so that was good. So let's take a look at the temperature now. Okay, so right now, the temperature is at 80 degrees, uh, which would be low, but I haven't removed the pipes, and I think once we kind of remove the pipes, um, that'll let more air come in, and that might help heat it up a little bit. Now, the other thing I want to check is, I know I didn't get it quite full here at the top, but my past experience with these is that the, um, you know, as all the material starts to settle down, uh, you know, it drops down in level. And now this is the second day. I can see it's dropped probably, a, you know, maybe a couple inches from where I first filled it up. So I think what I might do is I might leave these pipes in one more day. Then uh, go and get one more load of manure, top it all off, and then I'll pull the pipes out. Alright, it's been a couple days since my last video. I'm doing a quick update on the Johnson Sioux uh, bioreactor, or at least my version of it. So we'll come in and take a look. Okay, you can see I went and uh, got another run of horse manure, filling this thing up all the way. It's been about four days since I first filled this up, and the temperature now is dropped down. It's about 50 degrees there, or just shy of it. Um, I did just take the tubes out, so maybe with uh, the pile now able to get some more air the temperature might rise again and i'll check it over the next couple days to see what happens um, otherwise i'm sure once it spring comes along and it heats up again that the pile will raise in temperature now, i do have uh, this landscape fabric i'm going to put on the top and i'll use these bricks over here to uh, keep it in place. Okay. I have the bricks and landscape fabric in place now, as you can see. Um, so I'm gonna let this go and I'll check back on it in you know, two or three months with a little update and we'll see how things are going at that time. 